these fights are unlike anything you've ever seen. What happens when a tough ex-UFC fighter steps into the chaotic world of a Florida Keys roadhouse? That is the premise of the movie Roadhouse, directed by Doug Lemon. If you haven't watched it yet, you're not ready for the heart-pounding action and thrills this movie has to offer. Roadhouse, starring Jake Gyllenhaal, is now available on Amazon Prime. No, I just broke his arm. This remake of the 1980s Patrick Swayze classic follows Dalton, the new bouncer, as he realizes that paradise is hiding dark secrets. Imagine a movie that defies easy categorization, a film that critics initially panned with crushing negativity. The original Roadhouse was exactly that. Roger Ebert was among the few who saw some merit in it, suggesting in a review that now seems almost prophetic that the film might be so bad that it's good. This description stuck with the movie for years. Roadhouse is not a good movie, that's for sure, but it is not a boring movie. It has so much fun with so many different cliches. But something remarkable happened. Over time, fans embraced its quirks, sharing it with new audiences until it became beloved. Patrick Swayze delivers plenty of punches to the face in a film that revels in its over-the-top silliness. Roadhouse arrived during an era where movies embraced their absurdity, viewing it as a positive trait. Many films from the 80s and 90s have a gleeful sense of the ridiculous, and Roadhouse fits right in. Trying to capture that vibe, it's not just entertaining, it's a cultural phenomenon that has stood the test of time. What Roadhouse 2024 does exceptionally well is reviving a type of movie that's rarely made today. You just take a big step back and pop me in the face. The lone hero who arrives in a town fights numerous battles, possibly even takes lives, and somehow transforms the town for the better becoming their revered hero. This classic formula, similar to old westerns with a lone gunman riding into town to address trouble at the local saloon, is skillfully brought back in this film. One of the film's strongest points is Jake Gyllenhaal's performance. His dedication to his physical portrayal is evident. He looks incredible, and his fight scenes are a joy to watch. Yet, it's not just about action. Gyllenhaal's character also bonds with the townspeople allowing him to show a more vulnerable side. Similar to the original, this film is unabashedly over the top. Roadhouse 2024 delivers all this and more, making it a thrilling and entertaining ride from start to finish. Doug Lehman's Roadhouse 2024 is a classic Lehman film, delivering thrills and excitement, though not without its twists. The formula works for the most part, drawing the audience in from the start. However, the introduction of a secondary villain in the third act shakes things up. While there's a central antagonist throughout, Conor McGregor's character feels somewhat forced into the narrative. Despite a gripping bare-knuckle fight scene, his character doesn't quite elevate the story as expected. In Roadhouse 2024, McGregor's character falls short of making an impact, leaving his role feeling somewhat underdeveloped. Roadhouse 2024 seems to really want viewers to connect with Conor McGregor's character, but it may not resonate with everyone. The action scenes are filmed and edited in a hyper-frenetic style, sometimes using distracting CGI transitions. While there are effective and intense sequences, the fast-paced camera work also takes away from the experience. In the remake of Roadhouse, Elwood Delton is no ordinary bouncer. He's a former professional UFC fighter. To step into this role, Jake Gyllenhaal transformed, committing to intense training and dieting to embody the physique of a mixed martial artist. This film places a lot of emphasis on its action-packed sequences and fight scenes. And this is where Conor McGregor's involvement shines through, adding both his fighting expertise and physical prowess to the mix. Gyllenhaal's preparation for the role was nothing short of extraordinary. His physical level of fitness was crucial in convincingly portraying Dalton. I'm sitting, I'm sitting in here and I feel a lot of gratitude, but I know, that's, I know that's a crazy thing to say. This routine included everything from ability exercises to shadow boxing, ensuring he had the range of motion of a seasoned fighter. Did you know that Jake Gyllenhaal and Conor McGregor's collaboration in the Roadhouse remake led to some intense and incredibly realistic fight scenes? The film sees Gyllenhaal as Elwood Dalton, an ex-UFC fighter turned bouncer who finds himself in a clash with a local criminal organization in the Florida Keys. McGregor making his acting debut plays a key role in these gripping fight scenes. 
In a recent interview, Gyllenhaal went into the process of creating these intense sequences with McGregor. He highlighted McGregor's fighting expertise, which brought a level of authenticity to the scenes, and praised director Doug Lehman's commitment to realism. Doug Lehman, who directed the movie, has been a friend. Lyman. He's yeah. the best. Conor McGregor's in the movie with me. Tell me, do things and like. Oh, Gyllenhaal revealed that there were moments when the action got a bit too real, with both actors accidentally landing hits on each other. When you do it, like, boom, like that, and he hit me by mistake. Despite these instances, Gyllenhaal emphasized McGregor's precision in measuring distance, ensuring that the fight scenes looked authentic without causing any serious harm. I mean, I stay in pretty good shape, but we train for two months pretty hard, grappling a lot of MMA, and then also just like getting in shape. Despite the rigorous preparation, Gyllenhaal and McGregor encountered unexpected challenges during filming, resulting in some unscripted moments that added a raw, real-life edge to the movie. These spontaneous interactions between the actors further enhanced the film's authenticity, making the fight scenes even more electrifying. The film not only revamps the 1989 classic, but also addresses a glaring plot hole left unanswered in the original. Gyllenhaal plays Dalton, the bouncer tasked with restoring order at a roadside bar, bringing a fresh perspective and intensity to the character. While the original Roadhouse has its cult following, it initially fell short with critics. In contrast, the 2024 remake has been met with glowing reviews, surpassing its predecessor in many aspects. One of the standout improvements is the film's meticulous attention to detail, providing a much-needed explanation for a previously unexplained plot point. In the original Roadhouse, Dalton's escape from legal consequences for his actions was a bit of a mystery, leaving a significant plot hole. However, the 2024 remake dives deeper into this aspect, offering a more satisfying explanation. In the showdown, Dalton confronts Knox, a ruthless henchman sent to finish a job. Their brutal fight ends with Dalton seemingly killing Knox, adding a dramatic twist to the story. A post credit scene reveals that Knox survived, leaving audiences eager for a potential sequel. In the finale of the 2024 Roadhouse remake, Dalton finds himself in a precarious situation after the sheriff, who's revealed to be Ellie's father, shows up at the Roadhouse. Despite Dalton's involvement in a series of violent events, including taking down Knox, the sheriff offers him a way out. He tells Dalton to leave town and pretend he was never there, promising to cover for him. The unexpected turn of events explains how Dalton managed to escape legal consequences for his actions. As Dalton rides off into the sunset, the audience is left on the edge of their seats, wondering what the future holds for him. Roadhouse may have won critical acclaim, but its ultimate test lies ahead. Winning over audiences, this direct-to-streaming approach raises questions about the film's potential impact. Similar decisions have led to films like the 2023 remake of White Men Can't Jump being overshadowed in the streaming world. Despite Roadhouse's positive reviews, some critics argue it could have been a box office hit. Have you watched Doug Lehman's Roadhouse yet? Let us know your thoughts about the movie in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe for more engaging content from us. Thanks for sticking with us till the end. Until next time.